In the next example, we're asked to simplify each polynomial. In order to do so, all we need to do is combine like terms. So what I'm going to do with my highlighter is highlight the like terms. And I'm going to use a different highlighter for each set of terms. So we have negative 2x squared. And over here, I have a minus 3x squared. So those right there are like terms. Now I'm going to use a different highlighter to identify the next set of terms. So here I have a plus 5x, and then I have a minus 9x. Now we see that all that's left is this 3, and there's nothing to combine it with. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite my terms now. I'm going to preserve the signs, so I'm not going to change their signs. I'm just going to rewrite them so that they're grouped by term. So I have negative 2x squared minus 3x squared plus 5x minus 9x and then last but certainly not least plus 3. So now that I've grouped these again I'm going to show you the highlighting. But now that I've grouped them, I'm going to combine like terms. Minus 2 minus 3 happens to be negative 5x to the second power. Remember, since we are not multiplying or dividing these polynomials, we do not change the exponents. We keep the same exponent. And then we have minus, since 5 minus 9 is 4, so minus 4 x plus 3. So we've simplified our expression here. And notice we color coded so that we would group the terms accordingly. On the next example, again, we'll follow the same process. Here's my 2x squared, so I'll highlight that in one color. I have a minus 2x squared here. And notice that the remaining two terms are different. So now let me rewrite 2x squared minus 2x squared minus a 5x cubed plus x. Again, I'm going to highlight my like terms so I know what I need to do an operation on. Well, this simply says 2x squared minus 2x squared, which we know cancels out since 2 minus 2 is 0. So then we're simply left with our answer here, our simplified expression, which is negative 5x cubed plus x.